So now we're ready to talk curvature, right? So there's always this kind of, you know, when, when you're trying to think about reparameterization, you start with a particular vector-valued function and you want to switch to the arc length parameter. Okay, so things can get a little bit messy. Um, and so take it as a theorem or a definition, however you want. What you can do is say, well, how do you check if a curve kind of has been parameterized using the arc length parameterization? Well, um, we saw that, you know, if we, if we have a curve which is parameterized by arc length, then the derivative of our vector valued function will be have magnitude one, right? So speed is one, if you like. So, so the assumption here is going to be um, that we have we have a vector valued function, and we're going to assume it's parameterized by arc length. Okay, so we just take that as the parameter to uh, to begin with. All right. So with that, we can define the curvature. And the idea with curvature is, you know, if you think about like a graph like this, right? Um, curvature is, it should be some measure of like how much your curve deviates from being straight, right? So if I'm at a point here, it's not very curvy at all, right? Um, whereas if I'm here, I see that it actually, you know, it's, it's bending quite a bit, right? So I would expect to see more curvature here than I, than I get there, right? Um, so we're trying to answer this, like, how curvy is a curve kind of question. And this is something that should vary from point to point, right? Um, and if you think about kind of going back to, like, just regular single variable calculus, like Calc 1, um, somehow this should be related to the second derivative, right? Like, first derivative is about slope and velocity. And, and the second derivative, right, was, you know, that told us about concavity. How much does the curve bend? How much does it kind of bend away from being straight? Curvature gives us a, a precise measurement of this, and it does it for, for parametric curves in both two or three dimensions, or, or higher dimensions if you happen to be working in higher dimensions, right? Um, so the, the definition looks like this. So we use a, so the, the letter we use, it's a kappa, um, which kind of looks like a K, right? Um, so kappa, this is, the, this is the letter that we use for, for curvature. Okay. Um, and it is defined as the magnitude of T prime of S, right? Um, so T prime, so we're looking at, you know, so, so T here, right? So T of S um, is going to be our, our unit tangent vector, right? Um, and so that's, that's, you know, that's our, well, it's, it's r prime of s divided by the magnitude of r prime, but um, magnitude of r prime of s, but that's assumed to be one, right? So t of s should be like r prime of s. Um, and t prime, right, t prime of, of s, you know, that's going to be um, dt ds. We have that. Um, and, and remember that the, you know, t is our unit tangent vector. Um, and what about the, you know, what is t prime? Oh, t prime was about the unit normal vector, right? So, so remember, that, uh, remember that we had this notion of the, the unit normal vector. Now, if we're using the arc length parameterization, that unit normal vector, it's going to be, it's t prime of s divided by the magnitude of t prime. Okay, fine. Um, but now we just defined that magnitude of t prime to be this curvature, right? Um, and and so one way you can rewrite this is to say, well, t prime of s is the curvature times the unit normal, right? Um, and, and we did talk about this a little bit before, um, this idea that, you know, the, um, so T prime, you know, this is, this is how is the unit normal vector changing? How much is it changing, right? Um, 
So T of S, this is kind of the, it's the direction of the curve, right? And so um, if, if T prime, you know, is, is, let's say, small, you know, in magnitude, well, that means the direction is not changing very much, right? And if the direction isn't changing very much, you're moving in approximately a straight line, um, right? And so you can see that um, since the, you know, n is a unit normal, right? This has constant magnitude. Uh, the magnitude of T prime is controlled by the curvature, right? Um, so the greater the curvature, the more your direction is changing, right? So that, that makes sense, right? Curvature is a measure of how much your direction is changing as you move along the curve, right? Okay, so that's curvature. Um, we're gonna play around with it in the next few videos and then we'll be done with this chapter.